everybody, and welcome to Commercial Capital's Keep Your Cash Flow King podcast series. Um, this podcast series is for business owners and equipment vendors, and today's topic is around the advantages of working with commercial capital equipment lease financing to grow your business and ramp up sales. I'm Carrie, and on today's podcast, we're actually going to be talking with Camille View. She's the Vice President of Sales at Commercial Capital Company also known as CCCKC. Commercial Capital, uh, just a little background, is a Kansas City-based family-owned lease financing company. They work with both businesses and equipment vendors, helping both to achieve faster business growth and increase sales by providing really turnkey capital finance solutions. They get very creative with their finance solutions, which is what makes them unique and differentiates them from their competition locally. So Camille, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and and how long you've been with Commercial Capital. Um, Sure, Carrie. Thanks. Uh, um, Yeah, um, this is Camille, and I've been in the leasing industry for 20-plus years. Uh, I've been at Commercial Capital since 2010, joined them after a tenure, uh, tenure at another local leasing company here in Kansas City area and uh, learned the leasing business up in uh, Wisconsin, uh, working for another small uh, privately, not part, well, independently owned leasing company. So that has been my world and I've enjoyed it and love every day. Every day is a challenge because we think outside the box here at commercial capital so that we can have a win-win situation, a win-win solution for all sides, the vendor, the customer, and commercial capital. So Camille, you've been in the industry for quite a long time. You've got a lot of experience. Have there been a lot of changes within the lease financing industry over the past 10 years, Uh, for example, in 2007, 2008, uh, with the downturn in the economy and the recession? And then how has commercial capital differentiated itself, stayed competitive and innovative during those tough times, and how did it benefit their customers and vendors? Yeah, but you you could say that uh, the Great Recession of 2007 definitely affected all the uh, finance industries, um, you know, banking, leasing, and uh, um, overall the economy of the United States. And so, you know, how do you keep your business going? And how do you, you know, um, get the funds to do that? Well, you know, with a company like Commercial Capital, we do not do any, uh, what they call it, auto scoring. We look at the individual complete picture of their world as far as like how long they've been in business what their personal credit looks like, if they have a Dun and Brad, um, what their industry that they're in. And, you know, then we can determine what the correct term is for that particular piece of equipment. Each piece is going to warrant a different term um, and so and accommodate the customer by being able to take that really uh, um, individual approach to each one and being able to make it happen for the customer and to, you know, get the deal done. So in other words, back in, you know, 2007 and 2008 when things were really tough for a lot of businesses to to stay in business, um, you were able to help them get creative and continue to finance the equipment that they needed to operate their businesses on a daily basis and stay in business through that tough time and, and weather the storm. And is that is that something that your local competition or other finance companies nationwide were really able to do? Or is this kind of unique to commercial capital, your ability to not auto score, to look at each business individually and be creative and customize lease financing options that really help them stay afloat during tough times 
and in good times, grow and take advantage of opportunities that present themselves that they want to just, you know, grab and go with and gain new business and new revenue. Is, is this something that commercial capital excels at and, and does better than the local competition, in your opinion? Um, yes, definitely. Um, we're an independent leasing company. Um, that. Can so, you explain uh, that to our listeners? Yeah, what is independent versus captive leasing? That would be a good thing to know and understand. Well, yeah, a um, captive leasing would be a uh, manufacturer's own leasing company. And those are typically, you know, have stockholders and everybody else that you have to answer to. And so we can, we call that a captive. And uh, um, an independent is truly an independent. So we are owners, um, Mitch Rice and Larry Rice are here every day, which enables us to take that personal approach and get the deal done and work with our customers one-on-one -on -one customizing any of their needs. It doesn't have to be a particular structure as far as term. Uh, um, we can, you know, uh, negotiate with them, directly with them. And so without the auto scoring, you're, you're looking at the, the person themselves and their business. Because you want to team up with them and, you know, have them come back for their other equipment needs to you and be a true partner in helping them build their business. And you work with not just business owners directly, but you're also an amazing partner uh, with vendors. So, you know, businesses that are resellers of equipment, you can really offer a lot of wonderful resources to the vendor to pass on to their customers, correct? Let's talk a little bit about yes. that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there, there's a huge difference when working with a independent um, leasing company such as Commercial Capital than a uh, captive, um, that personal approach like I said, customer centered. So what that entails is that, um, you know, we do our job. We do the lease stocks and go after them, allowing the salesman to go out and get another sale, what he's good at, uh, um, and let me take care of the leasing side of it and finishing that up. It's a huge trust that we can, you know, be in contact with their customers as well as keeping them in the loop on how it's progressing and when it's time to deliver. When I have all the paperwork here, you know, they deliver and, and we pay them uh, um, that day. So it really works out much better for them, giving them more time to go out and sell their equipment. Mm -hmm rather than worrying about chasing down leasing docks and such that the, ca the captives right. really require them to do. Okay, uh, so, there, um, so there that's lies another, approach. That, that, that is a, a big differentiator in my mind um, versus captive is you doing the heavy lifting on all of that stuff and them not having to <laughs> yeah. be accountable for it. That, that's huge when you're a, a vendor, a dealer that is selling equipment daily and has all kinds of customers that need to be serviced. You do all of that. Commercial Capital does all of that as a partner to the vendor dealer. And but that but you still work one on one with actual business owners themselves too. So you do both. Yes. We we do that as well as we provide some service to the vendor. Um you know, when our their customer it's their customer that they brought in our door. And so, you know, we want to make sure that we handle that customer with the utmost respect and make their experience here at Commercial Capital one where they'll walk back in the vendor's door and or the vendor can walk back in their door, their customer's door, and upgrade that equipment at the end of the term. That's the goal is to create a lifelong uh partnership with the vendor as well as their customer. So 
if a business owner calls commercial capital directly and is not going through a dealer vendor to acquire their equipment, let's say they found some equipment online that's used that they would like to purchase, but they need to finance it somehow, so they're entertaining the idea of equipment lease financing, working directly with one-on-one -on -one with the business owner uh, and not through a, a vendor dealer is something commercial capital does also. And so every day with that yeah. So with that being said, I know commercial capital offers um some really great quarterly uh lease financing programs that both, you know, the direct business customer can take advantage, but also the vendor dealers can pass along to their customers as well in partnerships with CCC Casey. Can you explain those quarterly promotions, um, talk a little bit about um, your lease options terms, um, provide a little more information about resources that might be available on your website, like the, I know you've got a lease calculator tool that makes it really easy for business owners to calculate in advance um, what they might be looking at monthly for equipment lease financing. Tell us a little bit about the, the programs and the resources, the terms and options that uh, commercial capital offers the individual or, or uh, customer that's going out and finding the equipment themselves whether it's at an auction they're buying it from another business that that's fine we can work with them direct we do that every single day so it definitely you know takes a uh, customer centered customer uh, experience to make that happen um, and along with that we can be very creative in the finance programs here at commercial capital in by providing some promotions like you've mentioned whether it be uh, first year lower payments and that lease program is available to anyone and what it does is that it lowers their payments for the first year and it allows them to make sure that they're creating income with the product the the equipment that they have purchased and are releasing it through commercial capital and then the remainder of after the 12th month the remainder of their lease term. It's accelerated because it's higher, So, uh, um, but it doesn't cost them any more to do that. We haven't added anything to that to offer the first year lower payment. So one through 12 would be one payment and then 13 through whatever it could be, you know, 60 would be a higher payment uh, when they should be making money off of that equipment. Right. And then so you have the baker. Go ahead. No, so it lets the business owner start to make money with that new equipment before they really have to start in on paying it back in, um, you know, higher payments. Uh, so that that that, that, that makes, yeah makes it a really great option for businesses who like like let's say, you know, I'm in the construction industry and I've got the opportunity to bid on a fantastic job, but I just don't have the equipment. But I let's say I win that bid, so I know I've got the cash flow coming in. Um, if if I go ahead and I acquire that uh, piece of equipment through a lease finance using that first year lower payments option, you know by the time I really start to start paying on it, I've already received the revenue from the job itself, or at least a good portion of it, which makes it very easy to repay. Um, the equipment purchase via the lease finance option of the first year lower payment. Is that kind of how that works? Yes, exactly. Because as a business owner, we all know we have equipment that, you know, we need uh, for our business. And, but we also need to make sure that that piece of equipment is a revenue generator. And so right. what this does is exactly answer that for the customer. They can get a piece of equipment, learn, you know, exactly the uses of it, how to promote it, um, how to get it out there and start creating cash from it. And then uh, um, in that first year, that really does uh, help out a t tremendous amount. 
right. of our customers. Yeah. So yeah, talk about then we have step. Oh, yeah. yeah, we have the Baker's Dozen. That is a fantastic mm-hmm. program, probably one of our most popular. Uh, um, and so what it is, it's, it's the equipment cost divided by 12, and the customer makes 13 payments. It's, uh, you know, quick, uh, you know, and a lot of people don't want to indebt themselves for, you know, uh, 60 months or 48 or 36 and they can afford that to, um, to do it over a 13-month period. They make one payment at least signing, and then they make 12 streams, and then they, it's designed that is a dollar-out lease, and so they own the equipment at the end. So they pay a dollar, quick. and they own it. At, they, yeah, so dollar-out means at the end of the lease, they, you know, they pay a dollar, and the equipment, is they own it. Correct. They do. There is there is really no dollar exchange. That's what uh, defines the lease as a uh, um, capital lease versus an operating lease. Operating lease being a fair market value lease. Um, so that is the difference there. Then we have our deferred payments. Um, that is you can defer a payment for 30, 60, 90 days uh, at the start of a lease. And that helps out a lot of times somebody that possibly has a current piece on lease can't get out. The the captive has handcuffed them. They can't get out of the lease. Um, So what it does, it allows them to go ahead and upgrade the equipment, fulfill their obligation, with their previous lease contract by not having those payments to us for 30, 60, 90 days, whichever one uh, they need. And then go ahead, get the equipment though, and have it in play and then start paying us at whatever they've chose, whether it be 30, 60 or 90 days. Uh, um, So those are some great programs that helps differentiate us. We do promote them on a quarterly basis all 12 months out of the year. Any program that helps our vendors go out there and sell some equipment and helps an individual who is out there looking for equipment gain that equipment at the time they need it, not just within a time frame. Another great uh, thing in working for an independent is that you're not set in stone on every little detail of your promotion. You can carry them all for the full 12 months. Right. Thus the creativity involved with what you do. So um, let's talk a little bit about um, master lease. So I know a lot of business owners um, have a lot of equipment and a lot of different potentially um, financing for those different pieces of equipment going on. Explain to the listeners what a master lease is and how commercial capital can really help people streamline their monthly uh, accounting process. Yeah, a master lease is a great answer for customers uh, who are getting multiple pieces of equipment uh, um, on a pretty regular basis you know it could, it could be six times a year it could be you know more um so what it is it is a uh, just like it states a master lease then all the equipment that you purchase throughout the life of that master lease would be um called schedule so it would be dash one dash two dash three with the same number on the front So basically, the master lease goes over all the uh, um, ins and outs of the lease. This lease schedule pertains to that particular piece. Each one can have a different term, different type, so it doesn't uh, um, affect the master lease. The master lease is just saying you agree to these basic terms and that each schedule can have its own term and own type, whether it be a dollar fair market value lease on that. And for the accounting side, then it allows us to do line item 
invoicing for that customer. So they get one invoice from us. It can list that particular lease schedule, what that equipment is, um, and how much it is. They don't all have to be on the same due date either. It's on those uh, line item invoicing. You can have assigned so many, you know, due on the fifth of the month, and some of them due on the fifteenth, or you know, what works best with your uh, cash flow at your business. Right. So that's huge. Uh, you know, being able to help with master lease. Uh, for companies that do have multiple equipment financing, um, is it helps the cash flow tremendously, I would imagine. That's the whole reason why we named this podcast, you know, Keep Your Cash Flow King, because operational costs for any business are always of utmost concern. So keeping that cash flow available um, and liquid is important to business owners and making things streamlined and easy to track I think the master lease is another way commercial capital can help, whereas the captive finance, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but do they typically do master leases as well, or is that more independent? Some of them, it, 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 I mean, some of them do. We have seen them. Um, they're not as, um, they're, they're, they cannot, they just cannot be as creative. So they cannot have the, you know, I haven't seen any different terms. Uh, um, and such with those, and then their requirements for that uh, um, would be much more for a, uh, say, Fortune 500, and not available to everyone who needs equipment and is growing their business, whether it is a, you know, midsize or a small uh, business. Okay. Another question that I know you probably get quite often or people are curious about are the types of equipment that commercial capital um, can provide lease financing for. And I know that you've spoken to me in the past about it, it runs the gamut. So uh, equipment does not necessarily have to be new equipment. It can be like we were talking about, used equipment. But then there are other types of things that are kind of surprising, I think, to business owners that they didn't know, you know fell under the, I can lease that, right? For example, software or um, possibly training. Um, can you talk a little bit about all of the different things that can be included in an equipment lease? Sure, and 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 thanks for bringing that up, Carrie. You know, being in the industry so long and and doing it, you do forget that it is a hundred percent financing. Uh, um, so if you have a piece of equipment that has software, training, delivery, freight, uh, um, all those things can be incorporated into the lease. So it's a hundred percent leasing on your equipment and typically, you know, typically you're going to have, you know, one payment, be able to structure it where you have one payment at least signing. We also do some where, you know, um, whether it's a, a down payment um, on that and the being more flexible, just, you know, really what the personal uh, history of the business and what that customer is looking for. So uh, um, that's very unique. And the idea that, you know, you can lease pretty much any business equipment that you use in your business, whether it be, but, you know, it's amazing that, you know, you have so much office equipment, whether it be computer hardware, software, you know, the uh, telecom, the uh, uh, material handling, there's a lot of agricultural stuff and architectural equipment that is also leased a lot by most companies. Um, you know, manufacturing and fabrication equipment, construction equipment, uh, um, concrete pumps, uh, um, and we do do leasing on uh, um, trucks so that people that are hauling things um, that is more of a uh, definitely a vertical 
that we like to do in uh, uh, the Midwest. Um, the others are more um, coast to po coast, especially in the uh, um, architect and engineering and construction when you talk about uh, um, doing plotters and such like that. So um, yeah, makes it a one-stop shop for all your equipment needs to help you run your business. Okay, excellent. And the the rates, are they typically the same whether the equipment is new or used? Yeah, what, it, what we vary on there is typically the term. You don't, you know, the you don't want to have put something on there on lease for a long period of time that has a short life. Because that's not right. fair to the customer. It's not fair um, at all because they want to, you know, equipment needs to work for them and to make money for them. So um, it's the term that we can adjust on the used equipment. Okay, so Camille, you've covered quite a few of the advantages of working with commercial capital equipment lease financing, you know, and how working with you all can really help business owners and vendors and dealers you know, ramp up their revenue and their sales. Um, so in closing, for those individuals who haven't had the pleasure of working with commercial capital yet, what is the best way for them to reach out to you um, to get a conversation started, to get a meeting scheduled, to discuss options and or partnership opportunities? You know, I would have to say we are here at commercial capital. Um, from 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. And they can pick up the phone and give us a call at 913-341-0053. That's our main number. And uh, um, ask our, you know, our, our receptionist is even knowledgeable on how to direct your call. And uh, we can get your questions answered and uh, um, start working with you and putting that lease package together for you. So Camille, you've shared a lot of wonderful information and the advantages of how commercial capital can really help both business owners and vendor dealer partners uh, increase their revenue and ramp up those sales. So if for those of uh, those listeners out there that have not had the opportunity to work with commercial capital as of yet, what is the best way for them to reach out and contact you and kind of request a one on one meeting? Sure. That's, you know what, we are very easy to get a hold of. We are, uh, our office is open from 8 30 to 5, Monday through Friday. And our main line number is 913-341-0053. We also have a great website at ccckc.com. You can go to the team page, and uh, everybody seems to be able to pick out a personality that might want to work with them. And uh, choose one of us. Give us a call. We all have direct lines. We all, uh, Commercial Capital has a LinkedIn page um, as well as a Facebook page. So uh, we also have on our website um, some portals there where you can uh, inquire and we will get a notice and we'll pick up the phone and we'll give you a call. We have some quote calculators on there. A lot of information um, that you can look at and explore who we are and who uh, you want to do business with because we surely want to do business with you. Um, I want to thank everybody and give us a call. And look us up on uh, our website at ccckc.com. And uh, whether you're a uh, somebody out there looking for equipment or a vendor who needs a new partner, um, we're available and we look forward to talking to each and every one of you. Thank you so much, Camille, for sharing your knowledge around equipment lease financing and how commercial capital can really help business owners and vendor dealers get in the driver's seat when it comes to growing their business and ramping up sales. So until next time, thank you everyone for listening and we're excited uh, for our future podcast where we'll have featured guest speakers. So check the website at ccckc.com for the schedule of upcoming podcasts. 
um, we'll have an archive of all uh, Keep Your Cash Flow King podcasts available on the website. So until next time, thank you and have a pleasant day. Thank you.